conçu pour la prévention des crises, ce fonds renforcera les coussins extérieurs du marin. So this is Radio France International on 15300. Um, I've been doing a lot. You know, I've been, I did a second ET, um, kind of a you know scan of the international broadcast bands and I uh, wanted to have a little more observations of this radio and um, I do notice a lot of, of, of spurious signals so you know when I did my review I did say that there were better choices and there's definitely better choices than the D109 if you've got one or if you got one for $30 I mean you know you can't expect to have a miracle for the price that it was uh, $30 plus the shipping Um, and it's okay and the audio quality is good and if you use Bluetooth or if you listen to FM you'll have good audio quality that, that definitely uh, it's just that the shortwave side isn't up to par I was you know if I'd use a uh, the Siwa Don or the uh, Radiwa R108 uh, you get a better radio than you get in this one Um, it's a smaller package, but you get definitely a better radio with, you know, less chances of, on telescopic, you know, pretty much no overload on the R108. Um, and you get the added bonus of airband. So, you know, I definitely, it's always exciting to see when a company comes up with a new model and we see these new inexpensive models coming out. But, um, you know, they do lack. And uh, it's sad because... If this radio would have had just slightly better front end to cope with strong signals, you would probably, I, this would have been one of the choices. It's nice radio, and the audio quality being superior to a lot of other portables of the, the price range uh, definitely would have made this an interesting choice. But, you know, spurious signals means if you're not used to shortwave, there are going to be signals that are probably not on the frequency you're listening to that you'll find from time to time. Uh, the mix, you know, of strong signals with other strong signals making a kind of a mishmash of voices mixed in together. Um, I'm not too, you know, a lot of people are saying, well, you know, that's crazy, all the overload in the 2 megahertz range. It doesn't really matter because this radio in 2 megahertz doesn't get anything. Apart from WWV on 2500 kHz, there's really nothing to listen to on a radio that doesn't have single sideband in that range. So that doesn't really bother me at all. Um, what really bothers me is that in the higher range, you know, there are parts of the spectrum that you do get some overload and some spurious signals here and there. Uh, but still, I find it interesting to listen to thanks to the good audio quality. Um, you know, there's a lot of the frequencies that it does get. I mean, it's not that it's deaf. It's maybe just too sensitive. It's the other way around, uh, unfortunately. So I wanted to do um, add a little bit of comments like that to the uh, performance of the XHD D109 uh, receiver. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.